A closed circulating water system offers a simple analogy for illustrating the way an electrical circuit works. The top diagram represents a water system while the bottom diagram shows a simple electrical system. In a water system, a pump creates a pressure difference which forces water through a pipe and other hydraulic components. In an electrical system, a battery or a generator creates a potential difference or voltage that can force electric charge through a wire as well as through electrical components. The electrical system shown here illustrates the operation of direct current, which flows in only one direction. While many electrical systems operate on alternating current, a direct current system is easier to visualize. In a circulating water system, the water flows in a loop and returns to the pump where it is again forced through the loop. A shutoff valve can stop the flow of water when closed, or allow it to flow when in the open position. An electrical system is also a closed system. Electric current must flow in a loop or a completed circuit. Instead of a shutoff valve, a switch stops the flow of current through the circuit when it's turned off. When the switch is turned on, the circuit is completed and the current flows. In this water system, there is a hydraulic load, in this case, a water turbine, that is powered by the flow of water. Our electrical system also has a load, an electrical load represented here by a light bulb. The light bulb is powered by the electrical current. As mentioned earlier, the pump in a water system creates a pressure differential that forces the water through the pipes. Therefore, our diagram includes two pressure gauges to measure the difference in pressure. The electrical system relies on a voltmeter to measure the potential difference between two points in a circuit. As water flows through the system, the flow rate can be measured in gallons per minute or liters per minute and is measured with a flow meter. Electric current flowing through a circuit is measured in amperes or amps and can be measured with an ammeter. The analogy between water systems and electrical circuits can be taken further, but we'll stop our comparison here for now. An electrical circuit is more typically depicted in schematic form. In this schematic, the voltage source is depicted as the circle on the far left. The electrical load is generally depicted as a jagged line. While it's not necessary to know how to draw an electrical schematic, this fundamental understanding will be useful.